जय श्री माता जी विश्व के सभी साधकों का आज सुबह के ध्यान सत्र में हार्दिक स्वागत है कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेते हैं तीन महामंत्र तत्पश्चात श्री गणेश मंत्र Shri Nirmala Devi 
अपने चित्त को सहस्त्रार पर स्थित करते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी कृपा कर सामूहिकता के सहस्त्रार पर आप विराजिए सामूहिकता का अहंकार और प्रति अहंकार आपके श्री चरणों में समर्पित है कृपा कर आप हमारा आत्म साक्षात्कार दृढ़ कीजिए माँ कुछ समय हम ध्यान की अवस्था में बैठते हैं चित्त को सहस्त्रार में स्थित करते हुए हम अमृतवाणी ग्रहण करते हैं टुडे वी हैव गैदर्ड हियर टू वर्शिप श्री गणेश यू ऑल नो वॉट अ पावरफुल डेट इज इज His power comes from his innocence. When we see small children, we automatically compelled towards them, and also we want to love them, kiss them, and be with us. And very innocent they are, extremely innocent. and when we worship shri ganesh we have to know 
if we have been really innocent or not. These days, people have become extremely cunning and they don't mind any amount of cunning. They play all kinds of cunning games on others who are innocent and simple. They can justify themselves always that whatever they are doing is the right thing in these modern times when everybody is so cunning. This cunningness can take you to the other extreme of right side, which is very much punishable in the sense that some people develop all kinds of problems which are physical, you can say, like their hands can get paralyzed, right, or their leg can get paralyzed. Also, they can have other troubles with their liver treatments and all that. All this comes up then to punish them a disease of psychosomatic nature might say. At this time, when you have these problems, all such people who suffer from the right side should worship Sri Ganesh. For example, these days the life is very, very much busy with all of you. <coughs> you are extremely busy with your work and you are doing extra work, I should say, than normal. But you think you are doing a very great job about it. As a result, Sri Ganesha is neglected and such a man can become either very dry or very self-indulgent. One of the two things come up and she does not know where he is going. The only thing that keeps you, keeps you in the middle in Sahaja Yoga is Sri Ganesha's puja, Sri Ganesha's worship, by which you can always be in the center. All these diseases of the right side can be cured by Sri Ganesha's puja. Now there are various ways people worship Sri Ganesha, <coughs> but this only simple way is to remember Him and sit before His photograph and take vibrations from Him. That's the best way you can balance yourself. There are so many worries, there are so many struggles you have, all this can be neutralized by Sri Ganesh. He is, though innocent, he is extremely clever and when he comes to your help, you are amazed how he works it out and how he removes all the hurdles and all the worries from it. So this is the most important uh, deity we have. Though it's, it's a very simple deity, the Munadhar chakra is very, very complicated. It is one of the most complicated chakras, I think, because it has <coughs> many waves, it has uh, many compartments, we can say, which all the time are vibrating and oscillating. So to steady down these, you should try to be absolutely dedicated to Sri Ganesh. Sri Ganesha, as I have told you, was <coughs> incarnated as Jesus Christ and Jesus was also a very innocent person. If he was not innocent, he would not have been crucified. But he was not a cunning fellow to see the cunning of others. His own disciple deceived him and still he knew who it was, he never said who it was. If you see, his life is full of innocent beauty. He is such a simple-hearted personality, such a good personality and wherever he saw anything wrong done, he used to go all out to fight. Same with Sri Ganesh. 
Shri Ganesha's blessings are very important for all the people who are specially prone to some sort of a hurdle or sankata, as they call it. He's called as sankata vimochan, the one who takes you out of all the hurdles of life. So many of you have experienced how he has helped you in different troubles and hurdles and also different type of very, very difficult times. It is his style that he manages things so well because he is a Ganapati. Ganapati means the one who is the lord of the Ganas. As I have told you, Ganas exist within us very nicely settled down as uh, these bodies, small, small bodies, who report, if there's any problem, they report to the brain that there's a problem. And on the sternum bone is the, <coughs> is the residence, or we can say is the throne of the Goddess Durga. So whenever there is any problem, we are found into some trouble, sternum bones start vibrating and these bodies, which are ganas, get the information. Antibodies, they are called in the medical terminology. Then these ganas attack, they ta can target also. They know how to target the trouble and attack it. One may think that only the people who are suffering medically are helped by ganas is not true. Also the people who are mentally upset, who are mentally suffering, are also helped by the ganas. These ganas are so good at targeting their problems that sometimes one is surprised how things have worked out. For example, say something happens to someone, some child somewhere. Now his parents start crying for mother and the mother is the Durga, say. Then what happens that they immediately rush to that place and miraculously they cure the boy, miraculously they say. So many miraculous things that have happened in your lives, you cannot explain. But they are all due to this Ganapati's Ganas. They are also small like him and they are very active and very alert. They never sleep. Any time there is any trouble, these Ganas will go and attack the problem and find out solu solution for it. It is something unbelievable how they act and how they inform. <clears throat> I can give you so many examples that have happened like this. For example, there was a boy who got drowned in one of our ashrams in uh, America in the swimming pool. These were all jumping for the swimming pool. I didn't like the idea of swimming pool very much because there were children there. So one boy fell down into that and was inside for about 15 to 20 minutes. Nobody knew he was there. So then they tried to <coughs> find out the body of the boy. And then they found he was not there. Where is he gone? Then they discovered that he was in that swimming pool. After that, they got so frightened and they said, we just prayed to your mother that saved this boy. Surprisingly, I never telephoned to any ashram. I didn't know even the address. But I asked to telephone to this number on my own. I don't know anybody's numbers. And the telephone, when I telephoned, see, one of the leaders came there and I told him, I know the boy has fallen into the water and he'll be saved. Nobody had told me anything. Don't worry, he'll be perfectly all right. Then they brought out the boy and he was treated. Uh, by the doctors also, but also by, by with vibrations. And today that boy is perfectly all right. While the doctors had said he can never survive, if there's one chance of surviving, he'd be like a dead body in a coma all the time. 
this boy, I have met him this time I went to America. So like this, so many things happen and people tell me that, Mother, it's your, uh, your uh, kripa, your uh, blessings that this has happened. In a way, it is very distantly, I should say, but because of Sri Ganesha. Now, Sri Ganesha's another quality is that extremely obedient to Mother. He does not recognize even Shiva, Vishnu, anyone. To him, his mother is everything. So he can fight with his father Shiva, he can fight with anyone, because to him is complete obedience and absolutely quick, tatpara. He just quickly understands what is the desire of the mother and he works it out. His style is otherwise very innocent, simple, childlike, but his work is tremendous. Now these ganas are also very innocent people, very innocent. But when told that you have to attend to a particular problem, they are extremely quick, they are very fast. The another thing with him is that he respects people who are chaste who have chastity as the prime thing in their life. Chastity is very much worshipped by him. It's not only in women, but also in men. He expects chastity to be present. After getting Realization, you should be absolutely chaste people. You shouldn't have your eyes roving along or everywhere and sort of what you can call a very bad method of communicating with young women and young men and spoiling your chastity. Even your eyes should be clean. Even your thoughts should be clean. For that you should introspect and see for yourself what mistakes you are make, committing and what kind of a unchaste behavior you have. You have to correct yourself and ask Sri Ganesh to forgive. If you ask for forgiveness, he can forgive anything. He's so innocent and beautiful that he forgives. But that is a very important thing. Our whole morality depends on our idea of chastity. We should be very chaste. So many religions have come and they have talked about chastity. But religions have become so useless now have become without any uh, basis, without any uh, any proper execution of what is written for them. They do all kinds of things and they call themselves Hindu, Muslims, Christians, all kinds of religions. Actually, the religions have failed completely and that's why Sri Ganesha gets after them. Another thing about Sri Ganesh is that he is created out of the Mother Earth. He is absolutely created out of the Mother Earth. So, if he doesn't like people of some country who are doing black magic or who are doing fundamentalism and where people are also uh, having very bad morals, he creates problems for them. What happens that he tells the Mother Earth to create the earthquakes. Earthquake takes place in places where there is no respect of chastity, also where there are fundamentalists and also where there are people who are worshipping the black magic. This kind of people are attacked by him through his mother. So the Mother Earth also understands. Now we had uh, so many earthquakes, one in Turkey, you know, one in Taiwan, but not a single Sahajogi has died. So he protects them. He has discrimination and only such people who are of this kind, he tries to destroy them. And he, he has destroyed many like this even before. Also, <coughs> He is a, the Mother Earth's powers he has got is that 
he is magnetic he attracts people towards himself people take to him very easily as we take to children very easily so that is magnetic power that he has got within him himself now you will be surprised this magnet exists also in the birds also in many animals but especially in the birds that's how they can follow direction where they have to go they are flying from say siberia all the way flying to australia how do they fly and again they come back to the same it also is in the fishes fishes also are found say uh, in the waters which are coming from some hills so they come to the plains for some time and again god knows how they go back to their own place so to going back to the own place is only possible if there's a way of knowing the direction but they know the direction they have a sense of direction also they are bound by their own qualities for example a snake will be a snake dog will be a dog and a lion will be a lion but human beings have perhaps all the animals within them so they could be anything you can't say they are too cunning to admit that they can be anything and once they become anything like that you are amazed how these people can be of such a low level when they are human beings but it is so because ganesha has not been respected in their lives so they can go to any level any place another example i'll give you a very big earthquake we had in india latur in latur this was the 14th day of shri ganesh where they take shri ganesh and put it in the sea or in the water of a river so there in latur they these people have been having a nice uh, statue of shri ganesha before the statue they dance and they have now started playing very dirty very bad uh, very very bad um, music from some very funny films or something it's so bad that you just can't bear it very bad and that upsets shri ganesha so like that they were doing to this one statue that they had and uh, they were dancing before it but when they uh, put uh, the statue in the water they came back home and they got drunk i mean they got drunk they started dancing with that drinking and saying jai ganesh jai ganesh at that time the earth moved and the earthquake took away all of them inside the earth itself they all disappeared into earth apart from that there were many others also who were doing this kind of thing were taken into the mother earth and our ashram was there a kind of a center and around the center there was a very uh, beautiful uh, land but it did not touch that land around it about at least quite a long distance a big gap came in and the there was a opening in the mother earth all around the center and nobody was harmed they were all at home they were all all right but this happened that our ashram was not at all touched and this is how they saved the ashram and not a single sahajogi died it is really very really remarkable how the protection is given by shri ganesh and his ganas so we must respect his gana very important is to see that they are all around within us they are acting within us they see us what sort of person you are and in case you try to dislodge shri ganesha by your misbehavior they try to see that you again go back to normal they give you a chance many a times but even then you go on with your cunning and uh, ideas about your ego you are very badly hit by him and that is the biggest uh, i should say 
calamity for you people. So you must worship Sri Ganesh. But I always say don't worship every Sri Ganesh which is being created by those, uh, we can say, artisans. Because God knows what sort of artisans they are. For money's sake they might be making Ganesha and they might not have got the, uh, any idea of chastity. Such people make these Ganeshas and then you worship those Ganeshas. So we are not at all helped by this. So best is, that's why Muhammad Sahib has said, don't do any uh, worship of any idol. Because these idols are created by human beings who are not authorized to do that. They are not swambhus, they are not created by the Mother Earth, but are copied by people who are just wanting to make money out of them. So that's how any any idol you get, uh, say, from the uh, shops need not be worshipped. It's not to be worshipped. Any idol whatsoever. So whatever is not there, uh, we should not worship because he's not. it's made by somebody who has very bad vibrations, who is a cheat, who is very cunning and thinks no end of himself. With such a person, if you buy ex Sri Ganesha, it's going to harm you, it's not going to help you. You can have it for decoration in the house, but not for worship. There is no photograph of real Sri Ganesh so far. There are uh, eight Sri Ganeshas who came out of Mother Earth. I have seen them. But in those places, the Pujaris, the people who are the priests, are horrible, horrible people. I went to one of them and he said, I am getting asthma, I am getting uh, paralysis. How is it? I am worshipping Sri Ganesha. My forefathers have worshipped mm -hmm. Sri Ganesha and how he is doing this. I said, you just in introspect yourself. What kind of a life you lead? What do you do? Are you really worthy of Sri Ganesha's pujari? And then he realized it. I said, I will cure you now, it's all right. But afterwards you see to it that you become an innocent personality. Try to lead an innocent life, not of outwitting another and being very cunning and clever. Sri Ganesha's troubles are really, I can't count them even, how much it, it can hamper, how much it can give you trouble, how much it can take you nearer to your death. He is so powerful, he is so powerful, because all his energy is for the divine work of his mother, all his energy. He doesn't do anything, he doesn't want anything, just all his energy is for that. And he's asking for what is simple, uh, what you can call mudaka, the kind of a thing they make out of uh, coconut. That's what he eats. His body is so supple and so, so powerful that he can move mountains after mountains with his simplicity with his sweetness and with his innocence, he can really change people. People who are very hard, very harsh, can be changed. <coughs> his symbol, as we have seen, is a sastika of the right direction. But if it is the other way round swastika, then that can destroy. When it was used by Hitler in the beginning, it was the right type and he was successful. But then what happened? They had stencils and they started using it from the other side. So it was from the left side, it started the other way down. And then they were all destroyed. How powerful is Sri Ganesha swastika, you can say. Also that we have proved now that swastika, if you see, from left to the right is actually from the carbon atom. The carbon atom has got swastika. And if the whole uh, this uh, chakra is made of carbon atoms, 
all put in series. Now, if you look at it from the left side, we have proved it now, if you look at it from the left side to the right side, what you see is Omkar written now. If you see it from right side to the left side, you see the Swasti. And if you see from down below upward, then it looks like a cross. So, it proves that Sri Ganesha incarnated as Christ. And He is the one who is worshipped all over the world. It's already written in the Devi Mahatma, if you read it, it's all clearly written about Him, how He became an egg and out of the half of the egg became Christ and half of the egg was Sri Ganesha. All these things are there, but we cannot really understand it because we are confused. We don't want to see it in a proper sense that this is already written there. So those who worship Christ also worship Sri Ganesh. And whatever you say to Christ, you are saying it to Sri Ganesh. They are not two, they are one and absolutely, absolutely one with each other. All the things I have told you about Christ, you can try to find out and you will prove it. Like Christ had these two fingers, this means one finger is for the Vishuddha, this is Sri Krishna and this one is Vishnu's. Means this is his father's, that means his father was Vishnu or Sri Krishna. Very clearly he used to divide into two other fingers. Only these two fingers, why did he use? Pointing out towards his father, who was Sri Vishnu and Sri Krishna. It's easy to understand what I'm saying if you see the vibrations of Sri Ganesh. If you see his vibrations and think of him, you'll be amazed. You're, you'll be amazed that your agya will open out. You'll become thoughtless. Because he is the Jesus, he is on the Agya. So it all opens out. And all the stupid ideas about breaking the Agya and this and that is all neutralized because you see for yourself just the name of Sri Ganesh can open your Agya. The cunningness that comes from Agya is absolutely finished. You are no more cunning. When you see this, in a sense, on your forehead, you are amazed at yourself and all such ideas just disappear. You cannot think of something very cunning and harmful to others. You are completely changed when the Agya is absolutely opened out. This one is a very big blessing to us that we all have this Muladhar Chakra now put into proper thing. When you sit on the ground also, it helps more because the mother of Sri Ganesha is this Prithvi, is this earth, the mother earth. And that's why we should look after the mother earth. We don't look after the mother earth. We don't understand the value of mother earth. Actually, in the Indian culture, it is that when you are getting up in the morning, you must say Namaskar to the Mother Earth because saying that, I bow to you, O Mother Earth, because I am touching you with my feet. Such respect you have for Mother Earth, then you won't exploit it, you won't have today's problems of pollution and this and that. It all comes out of our ignorance that Mother Earth is the Mother of Sri Ganesh, whose chakra we have got as Muladhara. If you understand this, you know, we'll be able to understand what is to be done. The Mother Earth itself we should look after. We can glorify her, we can beautify her, we can do all kinds of things, but the way we are exploiting the Mother Earth is a wrong idea is very wrong because it is harming us with pollution. To cut down the trees, to cut down everything that Mother has produced and just to use it for money is a very wrong thing. 
one should think about it and when you cut one tree also you should put another one there. That is the beauty of the Mother Earth. All the greenery, everything is the beauty of the Mother Earth. Many people have no interest in the gardening or in the nature, no interest. I don't know how they live, but they do without taking any interest in the gardening or in the nature. Nature is so beautiful. It's just look at the nature. It is never smelling, it's never dirty. Every leaf is so organized that it should get the sun rays. There's no quarrel about it. They are so well organized, everything. It's so beautiful and it is never destroyed also by any animals. It will be amazed. The animals also don't destroy. At the most they might eat some grass or something, but normally animals do not destroy any tree, do not destroy anything as we destroy uh, the Mother Earth for our own use, we use. Whatever may be the cry for this, we have to understand that we have to respect the Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the mother of Sri Ganesha, who is our, we should say, the eldest Sahajogi. He never had to take yoga, but he is in yoga all the time. He's the greatest yogi we have, and the way he is doing right things all the time. He never does anything wrong, never. And he is so capable of uh, getting uh, to the position of any great deity that is possible. I would say he is the greatest deity we have and we should really worship Him. Through Him all deities are worshipped and are made happy and blissful. So this is today's thing was that I was just thinking that nowadays in modern times how we have become shameless, how we have tried to put our chastity for kind of a honor. If we have any honor, you will have chastity. But you are dishonoring yourself and you think you have been very, very smart and modern by becoming so, so sinful. All this sinful act that is going on in these modern times is absolutely wrong and it should be Completely we should abhor it, should go nowhere near, because that's all wrong and that's how Sri Ganesha gets angry. Decency is very important in understanding what is our important basis is our chastity. In India, you know, 32,000 women got themselves burnt for saving their chastity. I come from the same family and you can imagine what courage they must be having, what uh, faith they must be having in their chastity, that if we lose our chastity, what's the use of our life? So they cared for ch their chastity and have done so much sacrifice to show that chastity is the most important thing we all should have. It's not only for women but also for men, very much more for men. Sri Ganesha is a very important thing because men can develop so many diseases if they do not respect Sri Ganesh. Our health would be best if we look after Sri Ganesh because he is all the time repairing our body, he is all the time looking after, protecting us. And our Sri Ganesha is in the Muladhara is the one who is looking after our Kundalini, he is protecting our Kundalini. If <coughs> anything happens to us, the Kundalini comes up, but the one who supports her and keeps her uh, up, awakened and standing is Sri Ganesha. He works it out. He is the one who is the protector of our Kundalini, which is also a basis of your self-realization. So how much important is Sri Ganesh 
you should know and you should find out about yourself in prospect that are we really dedicated to Sri Ganesh? If we are, what are we doing about it? Then you will develop a real hatred for all these dirty things. You will not like them, you will not like such people. That is how a Sahaja Yogi should work it out. The children are the best, as we know. Children are so sweet and so kind, they are so loving, so beautiful. In the same way, we should know Sri Ganesha is there, He is the one who is really innocent but extremely, extremely protective of you, very much protective in his, with His innocence. So we should also try to cherish our innocence and not to feel hurt because sometimes such people are cheated, dominated, everything happens, doesn't matter. They will all suffer who will dominate innocent people. In the whole world, you see, there is a big uproar about it. People are talking about it, that there should not be domination of the innocent, simple people. It has happened, but it will all has to be changed, has to be brought to some last end, otherwise people cannot exist. Like everywhere they went and uh, obstressed so many people. In America, I was surprised to see that there were so many uh, Red Indians who are called as uh, Indian Americans. They were all oppressed, oppressed so much that they had to run away to different places. And then I went to this place, Kana Jori. I found the vibrations were so good. That means they were very innocent, simple people. And Americans that time who went there tried to completely finish them. So they went and hid in places like Kana Jori. But the Kana Jori had such tremendous vibrations that I said, look at this, so many years have passed, still the people who lived there and walked about and were absolutely enjoying this place were Red Indians, the ones who were Indians, we call them American Indians. But they are so simple and innocent and they were so, I think, spiritual people because they used to worship the mother, mother all the time, they worship the mother. Even it is, I have seen in other countries it has happened. But I was happy to see that in Australia they are very sickly. They have many Maoris and all those people and they encourage all of them and it is so surprising that they have so much talent and they are bringing them to this, uh, this state to show that they are equal in their rights, political rights in Australia. It's a very good venture. Now this Ganesha has appeared uh, in uh, Australia as Ulru. It's a very big uh, mountain which looks like Sri Ganesh. It has a very big also a trunk going down. The vibrations itself will prove that it is Sri Ganesh from the Mother Earth. He has appeared in many places, Sri Ganesh, not only there, but there I felt is the, uh, really the source, source of vibrations. That's what is, and in Australia, I thank him that he, because of him only, Sahaja Yoga has worked so well and so easily. And government also has never troubled us or there has been no problem with them. I don't know what is helping them, but perhaps it is the Sri Ganesha as Ulru, which is protecting Sahaja Yoga there and is growing so well. In the same way, everywhere, wherever you may be, <coughs> Sri Ganesha should be worshipped and you will be helped out and out. Miraculously, you will be helped miraculously. But first do something about our chastity, which is Sri Ganesh. May God bless you. ध्यान की अवस्था बनाए रखते हैं
जय श्री माता जी श्री माता जी के श्री चरणों में हम प्रार्थना अर्पित करते हैं परम पूज्य श्री माता जी आज का ध्यान आपके श्री चरणों में समर्पित है आज की अमृत वाणी में आपने जो ज्ञान हमें प्रदान किया सामूहिकता आपकी ऋणी है परम पूज्य श्री माता जी कृपा कर हमें ध्यान की गहनता गहराई प्रदान कीजिए जिससे हम सहज धर्म की गरिमा में रहे ऊंचाई में रहे श्री माता जी हमें गतिशील कृतिशील सतर्क और स्वयं अनुशासित सहयोगी बनाइए जिससे हम सहजयोग फैलाने के प्रति हमारा उत्तरदायित्व निभा सके कृपा आकर हमें आध्यात्मिक प्रगति की ओर अग्रेसर कीजिए श्री माता जी हमें भौतिकता के भ्रम से कुसंस्कारों से दूर रखिए हमारे अंदर निर्लिप्त साक्षी भाव प्रस्थापित कीजिए श्री माता जी इस ध्यान सत्र में अगर हमसे कोई गलती हुई हो कृपा आकर हमें क्षमा कर दीजिए हमारी प्रार्थनाओं का स्वीकार कीजिए और हमें आशीर्वादित कीजिए आपके श्री चरणों पर कोटि कोटि प्रणाम अनंत कोटि प्रणाम जय श्री माता जी कुंडलिनी चढ़ाकर बंधन लेते हैं आज सभी का दिन मंगलमयी हो आज का ध्यान सत्र अभी संपन्न होता है जय श्री माता जी